Oh, is, is PJ going to play? No. No. He is making progress, though. He went through a uh, shoot around this morning. Um, I know you've been dealing with this now for almost two years, but this phase of the pandemic seems kind of unique with so many people testing positive. How, how, how do you, how do you try to navigate, I guess, this, this part of this pandemic? Yeah, you just try to, to, to stay solutions based, um, focus on what you can control, uh, over communicate every part of it, uh, because um, things are changing. Um, and you do have to adapt uh, to this. Uh, you can't just live in the problem. Uh, we are all fatigued by it. We are, are frustrated. Uh, and I think those emotions are fine. Uh, that, that's what makes us human. Um, and there are a lot of different factors to this. So it's, it's not as if there's one solution uh, and you're trying to keep a business going. Um, you're trying to keep everybody healthy, keep everybody safe. Uh, you're trying to manage the unpredictable uh, every single day. Uh, you know, if anything, I think we're just that that part of it has been normalized. Um, the uh, unpredictability of every single day, you just have to accept that that's what it's going to be like, you know, for a while. Uh, and the whole league is is adjusting to it. Uh, I commend everybody, you know, for working together through all of this. Uh, I've said it before, there's not a playbook you know, that you can refer to uh, on this, and it is a little bit different than last year, and it's different than the year before, uh, but that's just where we are right now. And the most important thing is, you know, can we keep everybody healthy, everybody safe? Um, and, you know, for the most part, from, from the information we've been gathering, um, you, know, you know, those who are vaccinated have gotten a booster uh, and, you know, are responsible that you're mostly asymptomatic or minor symptoms if you do uh, get it. Uh, and then hopefully, uh, you know, we haven't heard of anything, you know, about uh, whether people's families have, have been infected by, by it or, or, or friends. And so hopefully we can just keep that going. And then also, you know, just keep, uh, keep the schedule going. Coach, uh, if there is a positive side to this at all, uh, so many players are getting chances that would maybe have never gotten this opportunity in, in their life. Yeah. And and I hear out there many times, well, the product is not good. I, I don't agree with that in terms of they, they're giving it right. 100%. Everywhere. I agree. I just wondered your thoughts on that and, and knowing how difficult it is to get to this level and, and, and having all these players participate for the first time and for, maybe their only time in their life. For those that say that, uh, you're, you're just so disconnected to the human side of, of this business. Um, and that's a shame. You know, all you have to do is read uh, some articles about some of the players that have gotten an opportunity, how much is meant to them, how emotional some of the players have, have been about this. And it's not only the players that have never been in, in the league yet that have had to go through the G League that are now getting opportunities. Um, and that's an opportunity to, to live out their dream, but also financially. Uh, these, these, these are great opportunities for, for these young players, uh, but also guys like Brandon Knight. You know, I've been really banging on the door to try to, you know, get back into the league and is been battling, you know, and trying to get healthy enough to be able to sustain. Uh, and he's been able to do that. He was fantastic for us uh, in Sioux Falls. And then, you know, he's, he's getting a great opportunity in Dallas and making the most of it. And, um, you know, we root for him. So I've been following it closely and, and to see how emotional he was uh, about getting that opportunity is just, uh, you know, transcends, you know, just the normal business uh, of what we do every day. Uh, it makes you, um, you know, really want to root for, for guys like that. And, and for you as a coach, you, you may have been, uh, and other coaches are discovering things that you wouldn't have discovered or would have known uh, by not playing all these, these, these players that maybe wouldn't have gotten this, this amount of, of time on the, on, on the court. Look, for, for us, we love what we do. Uh, and again, if we can just keep everybody safe and keep everybody healthy, well, we have an opportunity to, to compete and coach and be in a locker room and, uh, and have a team like we have, um, even with some of the injuries or guys in and out of, of the lineup, uh, we're, we're extremely blessed, you know, and uh, we've had some amazing nights and games uh, in the last month 
while all of this chaos has been going on. And to think of us not having that opportunity, uh, that would be a real uh, bummer. I will go via Zoom to Tim Reynolds. Go ahead. Eric, reading the memo from yesterday um, from the league, I'm, are, are you hopeful that you'll get Kyle maybe sooner than later or at least sooner than you first anticipated? Yes, I am hopeful, but I also know, you know, um, that until you, you know, find out things for, for certain, um, you know, not to, to, you know, live and die with, with that, uh, those kind of decisions. Um, but he is part of this, you know, new category of, of either my, super minor symptoms or asymptomatic. Uh, and then it's just a matter of, of testing. And if you can get to a certain level, uh, that to me, it just seems right that uh, if the science is behind it uh, and the safety of, of the players uh, and everybody else around it are behind it, uh, that you wouldn't need to necessarily be out 18 days like Caleb was, um, you know, which was extremely frustrating. I, I felt the pain with Caleb, you know, it was basically, you know, he did have, you know, minor symptoms for a day or two, but far less than a cold. Uh, and for him to be out, you know, basically almost uh, more than half a month um, for a guy like him, you know, coming off his career best game, that, that's tough. So I, I do commend the league also for um, looking at all of these uh, different cases, seeing how this uh, potentially is different than last year. Um, and this variant uh, is potentially different. And if we can speed up the process of getting that guys back uh, into action, but doing it in a safe manner, uh, I think that would uh, be best for, for all parties. All right, coach. Thank you. Thank you.